Spencer Smith. I'm age 12 and I race go-karts and my dream is to become a Formula One driver. Well, to get there, I have to work out. So let's go. All right, so what we're gonna use today is a jump rope for the warm-up. We've got a fitness ball, BOSU balance trainer, some hand weights, medicine balls, a band, and a TRX. So the, that's what we're gonna be using for today's workout. You don't have to have all these toys, but it sure does make it fun. So for our warm up today, we are going to start with jump rope. Go for it. Now some alternatives that you can do, you can go outside and do some sprints. Today it happens to be snowing in Colorado, so we aren't doing this outside. Um, you can also run some stairs if you want to run some stairs in your house or at a stadium, wherever the case is. And what we're doing right now, we're improving our endurance and boosting the stamina to levels needed for a 90 minute Grand Prix. So remember, this is for those future F1 drivers. We're gonna go for two minutes, bud. You are one minute in. So a couple other things that you could do if you want, you could jump on one foot, you double unders. <laughs> <laughs> or just jump. Obviously you can hear his heart rate going up a little bit. That's exactly what we're looking for in this section. Man. Jump rope's getting a bit too small for me. <laughs> You're doing awesome. It's not easy to jump rope on carpet either. No. No, I'm always bad with that jump. <laughs> ah, you're doing great. Don't take out my house plant, please. <laughs> nice, good. Ready? Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Go ahead and set that jump rope down. The next warm up activity we're going to do are mountain climbers. We're going to do this for one minute, bud. One minute. So hands down on the ground, plank position, and drive those knees in. Here we go. He's got a nice strong core, his hips are tucked under. He's driving those knees in. Wrists, elbows, shoulders all lined up on top of one another to decrease any sort of impact on those joints. This type of exercise centers the driver and prepares them to focus during a training session. This is key for high performance and injury prevention. Tuck those hips under, bud, you got this. You got it, you got it. So hopefully we've got some kids out there joining in, maybe um, some fellow go-karters out there. You've got about 10 more seconds. Nice work, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, go ahead and stand it up. Grab a drink of water if you need it. The next one, we're gonna bring those heart rates down a little bit. We're working the inchworm. So we're gonna start in a standing position, hinge forward and reach toward the ground. Walk the hands out to a plank position. You can add a push up if you like and walk those hand weights back in, you got it. You don't have to add the hand weights on this one if you're starting off a little bit newer. This gets a nice stretch in those hamstrings, warms up that chest and shoulder. If you have a lot of space, you can actually walk those feet forward versus walking the hands back. But because we're in our living room, we're gonna keep it right like we're doing. So this type of exercise will center the driver again, prepare him for a training session. Almost there, bud. We're 
We're gonna do one more warm up exercise when he gets done with this minute. And then we'll get into the actual strength training. You've got 10 seconds. Five. Exactly. Three, two, one. Nice work, finish that one. Yeah. All right, the next warm up exercise is gonna be open and closed gait. This is really all about hip mobility. In a standing position, he's gonna rotate his hip outward and lift the knee up to the waist height and return down and inward. So that would be open the gate. Let's go ahead and do eight on each side. Nice. Is there a good way to, if you want add extra weight to your arms so you can have a better, um, trial of balance. Nice, one more on that side, you're doing awesome. Now we're going to close the gate. So it's opposite direction, you're gonna start outward and rotate in, there it is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do the other leg. There's one, two, three, four. Five, good. Six. That was good with the left side there. <laughs> seven. And eight. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and go into our first strength exercise. We've got a deadlift coming up, so we're going to be working those hamstrings the back of the leg. Go ahead and grab any set of hand weights that you like. Remember on this one, we're balancing on one leg, hinging forward, lowering the weights towards the floor, but you really only need to go as far as the knees. Yep and come back up. You got it. Let's do 10 on each leg. Is it a number? There's two. And this one is not about speed. Because if you do it fast, you're not really getting any of the uh, actual properties of balancing and actual training. You got it, absolutely. Try to... For me personally, this one is easier to do just rotating legs each time because one leg just feels a little weird for me. So this exercise requires a high level of strength, flexibility, and balance. This helps drivers maintain perfect posture so no energy is wasted when braking. Oh, that one wasn't good. That's all right. This is seven, bud. Eight. And remember, I'm just doing five pounds right now. You can either go heavier or lighter. Absolutely. One more on each leg. Last one. Nice. All right. So I think what we're going to do today is we're going to show you one set of everything. But ultimately what you're doing is you're working your way up to about two to three sets of everything. Once you've accomplished that, you can move on to more advanced exercises. So our second exercise today is going to be a goblet squat. Goblet squat. So go ahead and grab a hand weight. He's going for the big one, fellas. This is eight pounds. All right, so feet are gonna be a little bit wider than hip width apart. And he's gonna lower back into a squat, sticking the bum back behind so that as he goes down, he can see his toes. So knees are not going over the toes here. Can you give me a side view? Yep. 
That is perfect form. He's holding that weight up towards his collarbone, all the weights in his heels. The muscles involved in a squat help the driver develop their strength and endurance for repeated braking and steering maneuvers. And once again, um, these are all for speed, like mm -hmm. this. If you go fast, you're not getting all of it, but also if you go too slow, then you're taking forever. Absolutely. I lost count, to be honest with you, so let's do one more. So what we're looking for there ultimately is about two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps. And I'm guessing you're right around that 12 rep range. Yep. All right, dumbbell push-up, bud. So go, go ahead and grab a set of dumbbells. These are gonna remain on the floor. The hands are on the dumbbell for extra balance, but you aren't lifting them. You're gonna lower your straight body to the floor and up again. Absolutely. So just having the hands elevated up a little bit adds a little bit of extra um, balance there. We're going to go for, it says 10 to 30 reps. You tell me what you want to do today. I'll do 20. 20. Awesome choice. Actually, I'll do 30. 30. Okay. You've done two, right? Yeah. Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We've got ten more. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. He did it, folks. So push-ups challenge the deep core muscles, which are crucial to stabilize the spine and counteract the G-forces. Muscles used in steering and strength are strengthened here. All right, so let's head down to our TRX for the next one. We're gonna do an Aussie push-up. And if all of you know Aussie is the down under, right? So they do everything backwards. So instead of an actual push-up, Spencer's gonna put himself in an upside down position. He's gonna hang onto that TRX and he's gonna pull his body up. Here we go, one, two, three, four. And how many I'm doing? Five, how about 15? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, you're doing amazing. 11, these are not easy folks, 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome, come on up. So this exercise is important to strengthen the muscles used in efficient steering position and head alignment. So go ahead and grab a drink of water there, bud. We've got two more exercises to show you. The first one is the pike. So you're gonna turn that BOSU trainer BOSU side down, platform side up. Okay, though your hands are gonna be on the BOSU and your feet are gonna be on the fit ball. And so let me turn this sideways. So in this one, folks, he's gonna pike up, his bum's gonna go up in the air and he's gonna roll that ball towards, so I am challenging him here today. You do not have to go on two wobbly surfaces. There you go, yes. So bum goes up in the air, you roll that ball towards the dome and back out. That's two, I know this one is so tough. Hang in there. Three, find your balance first. <laughs> you can go on the floor if you need to. I got this. Okay. Four. That's okay, we're only doing 10. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! He can fall off at that point. <laughs> All right, this last one here is one of Spencer's favorites, and it looks like Delilah is going to help him. You're going to sit on that dome 
We're gonna be in a V sit, grab that hand weight for steering. Okay. We'll get a close up. Hi, Delilah. <laughs> Hi, Tweety. All right. Okay. So, V sit, folks, he's gonna lift through the chest, but tilt his torso back. Um, and then, yep. So now he's doing Russian twist. He's gonna add on. You keep going. We're gonna finish this and then we're gonna do the steering. We're warming up the core now. <laughs> Two. Like huge bouncing act. And one, awesome. So go ahead and put those feet down on the ground. Nice lift through the chest. Tilt those arms out in front of you. And remember, we're gonna turn that weight as if it's a steering wheel. So we're getting shoulders, wrists, core, everything. Amazing. So this is very sport specific, folks. Using stabilizing muscles to hold a position, minimizing movement while using a weight to mimic steering maneuvers. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Go ahead and set that hand weight down, bud. All right. <laughs> so that was one set of everything, folks, and it took about 15 to 16 minutes. So ultimately what we're looking for is to go through everything about three times, ultimately, about, depending on the exercise, but 10 to 30 reps. So if you factor that, it took about 15 minutes, you're looking at a 45 minute workout total. So any last parting words, Mr. Spencer? Um, during these times, just have fun and keep racing. Awesome. All right, thanks everybody.